Hey guys, so today I'll be filming a makeup cleanup or kind of like getting rid of my old makeup video. I don't know what it's going to be called. But anyways, before I get started, um, this makeup look is on my channel right now. I believe I will be editing that one, then uploading this one. Um, but this one right here, no idea what it's called either. I always come up with the names of like my title or my videos like after I've done editing. So peep this uh, 17 tumbler. <laughs> But anyways, um, I will be cleaning out my old makeup. I have not touched my makeup collection, my small makeup collection in a while and I need to clear out my makeup. Um, the other day I had like a couple foundations that were like really, really, really old and I tried using them and they would like separate. So I just chucked those out. So that's why I want to kind of clean it up and I want to do it in like a casual setting. This isn't gonna be like a super fancy setup right now because A, I have like shitty lighting right now. I am just have like my like fluorescent, fluorescent? Yeah, this like fluorescent ball right there sitting on top of that because I don't want to like set up the stand to hold the light bulb. <laughs> It's a really like a messed up <laughs> setup right now. My filming space, like my table, like where I do my makeup and stuff, is a freaking mess. It has been trashed. I actually cleaned it up a little bit yesterday, but still it looks like a freaking mess. And uh, yeah, um, I know a lot of people keep asking, they're like, Nancy, can you do a room tour? Do a room tour? No. Because my room is disgusting and it's not anything special. So anywho, I will show you my space. So I am now behind the camera and I am using a Manfrotto right now to film. So if it is shaky, I apologize. As you can see, my filming space is kind of trashed right now. Um, in my opinion, this is quite clean for me, like this. I can actually see some table space, which is really nice, A1. So <laughs> you're probably wondering, Nancy, why do you have skiing goggles on here? I was trying to clean up my room and uh, yeah. Um, so anyways, let's just get past all this junk I have on my table. So, um, maybe I should have put away all the makeup that I was just using previously to film. I, like, honestly, see, look, I'm a great YouTuber. I didn't think about, about, like, how I'm gonna film and stuff like that. Hold up, give me two seconds. I'm gonna put everything away. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put away most of my makeup. So, <laughs> as you can see, I keep all my makeup in these acrylic drawers. And then, um, down here... I keep makeup palettes in here and then I also keep like my powders and stuff like that and accessories and blah blah, blah in here as well. Um, so what we're gonna do first, oh and I forgot, right up here I keep like foundations and like extra skincare stuff. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I, let's go drawer by drawer I guess to clear stuff out. Let me see if I need to clear anything out. So this one here. From this top drawer so these are my mascaras as you can see and like this empty thing like i'm such a slob if you cannot tell <laughs> so i guess i should see if i should throw away any of these things uh, this mascara here is probably dried the heck out so i will throw this actually i don't think it's dried out yet but like you know how people are like you should throw out your mascara in three months and i'm like i never do because i never use them up and it's disgusting. I know it's disgusting. I know this one's probably dried up, so I should check this out. This was a good mascara. It was a good mascara, but it's dried out, so it's time to check this guy out. Honestly, I don't buy lots of mascaras because I don't use a lot of mascaras. This one's still good. I know this one's like almost done, but I still love this one, so I'm gonna like keep it. Um, I think this one's done too. Hold up. Let me see. Oh, this one's still good. Like, honestly, I haven't used a lot of these, actually. So, I think my mascara drawer is pretty good. But I think, honestly, I just need to clean this up. Like, wh what, what the hell? This is an empty black head. Wait, I have it right here. It's in my other drawer. So, there. This can go in here. <laughs> honestly, I don't know why I put it in here. Just because it was long enough to fit it. This is really sad. And I also keep my uh, old... CoverGirl um, pencil sharpener are, yeah, great stuff. And I keep, um, what's this called again? Eyelash glue. Wow, I'm a great YouTuber. I don't know if you guys are like, have you guys seen this before? This is like such an old tool. I remember back in like the early like Snoopy days and stuff like that, I like ordered this off of like the forms and like I got this because it 
you put it on your eyes and then when you put on mascara it will catch the mascara but like i've gotten better at applying mascara i don't know why i still keep this to be honest it's kind of disgusting um maybe i should check it out Alrighty, so i guess we're done with this drawer and i haven't touched any of my makeup drawers in a long time so that's why they're kind of disgusting and I, my makeup collection isn't that big um so it's kind of easy for me um, so these are my eyebrow products as you can see right here um, This right here I love and I still use um, This is the one I am loving right now and I still use so I'm keeping that Let me see See, I don't know how to do this um, This right here This is for when I'm blonde and uh, Or if I'm ever blonde oh, This is so old, look how crusty it is Oh my gosh Okay, yeah, this is going in the garbage I came and opened it up <laughs> That's going in the trash. Um, I guess these, all the like pencil-y kind of products I can keep. They don't expire as easily. Um, this right, right here I will throw away though. Um, this is an old product I used to love. It has like a pencil and a brow mascara. But this brow mascara part is disgusting and really old. So I'm going to check that out. And I cannot, I don't know why, I can never get myself to throw this away. This is really old. This is from Wet n Wild, I believe, right? This is from Wet n Wild? Yeah, it is from Wet n Wild. It is the Ultimate Brow Kit. I don't know why I can't get myself to throw this away. It is really old and really disgusting. Um, as you can see, this is the wax that actually holds the brow hairs down. But I, I don't know why I don't want to chuck it. Something about it. Like, you know, I'm a hoarder. That's why I'm a hoarder. But anyways, I think these stuff should be good. I, You know what? The thing that I am most concerned about actually is my lip and my eye products. So we'll head on to that in a little bit. So the next drawer is this massive eyeliner slash eye product drawer. Um, it is kind of disgusting. So let's get into this. So this one right here, <laughs> I don't know. I have so many old eyeliners and I'd never check them out. It's all my fault. It's because I don't clean out my makeup and um yeah so this one i'm checking out let's see what else this mini stay don't stray i believe this is really old i'm gonna check that out too all right oh my god there's so many old things in here this is really old too it's an old um what's it called again eye potion eye primer potion eyeshadow primer potion oh my god this stuff used to be like the bomb, but now no one uses this. Still use this. I'm going to keep that. Keep this. All my good eyeliners. These ones from Dolly Wink. Like the Japanese eyeliners are amazing. Like all these three are really good. These are Dolly Wink. And this one is from Koji, I believe. Um, they're all really good though. So I'm keeping those. Okay, so this one right here. I believe this is another one. This is the One Day Tattoo brand. Um, this is this was decent, um, but this is really old now, so I'm chucking it. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck this out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> this honestly does bring me back. Um, this one right here, I don't think you can see the brand anymore, but this is from L'Oreal. I used to use this kind of eyeliner all the time. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I used to use this kind of eyeliner all the time. It's one where you paint it on instead of like, oh gosh, it's so old. So it's like a brush like this. And I used to do my eyeliner like this instead of using the pens. But I found that using pens is much easier. So I've been sticking to the pen ever since. This though, it was an old favorite of mine. Okay, let's check that out. All right, let's see what else. I have so many. I think my sister gave me this one as like a gift one time. It's like from China or something. It's like precise liquid eyeliner this is really old i don't use it okay this is like the victoria's secret makeup oh my god i used to use this all the time when i thought that like white eyeshadow by itself in the inner corners look really good and i didn't need to wear any other makeup i would just like put this stuff and cake it in my inner corners oh my gosh honestly it was a good product but now it's way too old i don't know why i kept it let's see what else I used to love this eyeliner. I bought it for my one of my best friends actually, um, and I highly recommend this one. It's a cheaper alternative to the Dolly Wink one. It is the Super Quick Liquid Eyeliner EX. I don't remember what brand this one is, but look how it's a really nice um, and thin eyeliner. And I destroyed this one, and I should throw it in the garbage now. 
I'm gonna keep this one. It's another Dolly Wink eyeliner. Love them. Keeping this, it's a white liquid eyeliner, the one that you paint on. I only use this a couple times for like a certain or um, a couple of looks, so I'm gonna keep this. All right, so I feel like this is gonna take five ever, so I'm gonna like face the camera the other direction and I will get back to you guys in a second. Just give me a second. All right, so I've turned it the other way and now I'm gonna kind of like speed through picking out makeup. I'm gonna angle this down more. Um, please ignore my bed right now. It is atrocious it is disgusting <laughs> um but so yeah let's quickly go through i will probably speed this up this one is old let's check it out keeping this into the wrong eyeshadow okay this old body brown one is disgusting and it should be checked out garbage old All right, moving on to eyeshadow. And these are all my single eyeshadows. I don't own a lot of makeup, as I said. So these are all my single eyeshadows. I kept them in here um, for easy access. But I find that like because they're not in a palette, I don't reach for them as often, which is bad. Um, I think all these eyeshadows are good, but you know what? They say you should check it out after 12 months. I never do and it, I know it's disgusting but like I can't let go of some of them because like I, some of them I never even touched I like swatched it but I never really used it so yeah um these right here are all over glitters like from forever 21 and like these weren't mine these are my sisters and I guess I'm still gonna keep them like honestly they're kind of sanitary because you don't have to sift them out so that's okay and I'm gonna keep all these shadows still. So I have not really used too too many of them. I'm I don't know how good these ones are right now. Like these ones are smudge pots from Elf, and like I don't know how good they are right now. Let me test it. Honestly, you guys can like <laughs> yell at me in the comments. I know I should be like chucking most of these out, but they're still really good. If they're turning color, I will definitely chuck. Them out. Like that's when you know it's super bad is like when they turn color <laughs> so anyways these ones are good i think all right so here comes the blush section and i already know which one i'm going to chuck right away i see it right now this is when i first got into doing makeup i did not have lots of money obviously and i saw like like the beauty rush like the victoria's secret makeup and i was like oh my god it's kind of cheap and it was on sale so i got this it's like out the reason why I have an elastic band on it is because like the packaging is so shit and like I've used it so much when I was younger that like the hinge kind of broke off and anyway so this blush was what I used when I was like in like high school and stuff like that. Good times um, but it's going in the trash. Um, it was a good color though. Um, what is this? This one is from Paraf. I have no idea what this is. I don't think I've ever really used this. My aunt, my aunt gave it to me and I never really used it. It's a good color though, but I never really touched it. Um, it's pretty old. Let me see the color though. Okay. It looks nice, but it's not like super, super pigmented, but it is very old, so I'm chucking it out. This I'm keeping. I love this. Love this. This stuff is still good. This I'm contemplating whether or not to check it out soon because it has been a while, but I love this blush. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. Um, so I think I'm just going to quickly finish this up and then I'll check it because I do have... I, I'm sorry. I take that back. I had the other color. This is Cruel Intentions. And then the other one was... What was it again? I don't remember the other color. This one I used to use a lot, but that one was like turning color and it looked like it was like getting something in it. So I like chucked that one out. This one as well, when I was in high school and stuff like that, I used to use this one all the time. This is Revlon's blush in Tawny Peach and this was honestly my favorite peach blush. I use this one like every day when I wore blush. Um, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, I use this every time I wore blush. Like, it was either the pink one or this peachy one. And this is so old, I need to chuck this out. Like, it's broken. Like, the hinges are gonna come off. And, like, there's a pop-out thing on the side. And I broke that too. Like, the pop-out mirror. That, honestly, the packaging has been abused. So, this one right here. 
Um, I kill the packaging as well. The hinge, I like, I break every hinge of all my blushes, honestly. <laughs> so I don't know if I should throw this one out. I feel like I should soon. I don't know what happened to the other one. Oh, I took it out from the packaging and I put it in a pan, which I don't even use. I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I still use this one, but I'm on the verge of chucking this one out though. Yeah, I've been using it for a while. It's so unhygienic, I know. All right, so this is number two for blushes because blushes are a little bit bigger. That's why they take, they take a little bit more room. So I have like two drawers for blushes. Um, so anyways, okay, I see this. And this right here is, I don't know, you guys are probably, a lot of you guys are younger maybe, but this is from a company called Everyday Minerals. And Everyday Minerals had this thing where like you just have to pay for shipping or something and they give you like a free sample set. So it had like a foundation color, a blush color, and then also like another corrector color or something like that. I got these little sets and oh my god, I don't know why I still keep this. Um, mineral makeup back then was such a big thing. I can't remember what year, but it was such a big thing. I don't know why I'm keeping this. This should be checked out. <laughs> it's so, so old. Um, and this one too is a sample that I got a long time ago. I don't know why I keep so many samples, honestly. Um, but samples are great to try stuff out. Um, this is Afterglow Glide On Cheek Tint in Quickie. Um, I used to use this a lot too, but it needs to be checked out. I'm such a hoarder. This I think I should chuck out now because this one is a cushion cheek. The cushion cheek stuff is a bacteria breeding ground, so I'm gonna chuck this one out. Um, I think it's almost done anyway, so uh, let's see keeping these ones. I love these ones keeping them keeping this one um, Okay, as like a student or something like that and we don't have jobs like makeup like uh, What's this say? What's this called again? Makeup like samples and like small size travel size is like so great because you get to still try that product, but you don't have to pay for like big bucks for it. Anyways, this one was from a um, little like, you know, Sephora, those gift sets that your friends buy you. So my friend bought this for me in uni actually. So it's not too, too old, um, but I don't think I should be using this. I don't know. Yeah, I don't ever reach for this. So there's no point in me keeping it and it's not that pigmented. So it's time to go. And then this can make one it's so old too it's as old as my candy doll one or a little bit no it's not as old because i bought this one and i was in japan actually or in hong kong what year was that actually this is quite old then. i don't know but i still keep this because it is honestly one of my favorite peachy pinks so yeah i can't let it go okay it is a long comb blush and uh it's not for individual sale because it is one of those like you know those kits that you get okay this is still good um this is like from one of those kits you get like if you buy like a certain amount of product from lancome then you get like a gift set and like stuff like that all right so my blush my blush collection has gone down which is good i needed that i need more room not like i'm gonna buy any more makeup but you know i just need to like condense it because i rarely reach for like all the extra blushes i just go with the same kind of blushes over and over again alrighty so this section right here is my primer slash concealer drawer and I know I need to clean out a lot of stuff in here so I'm gonna keep this obviously uh, keep this these two are amazing they're like good stuff these concealers I know I'm gonna just grab all the concealers that I actually use out and then we'll see what I don't use okay so this is the other half or other two that were from the everyday minerals i don't know why i stuffed it in here but this is like a green powder which corrects but it is really old so i'm gonna check it out and then this is the foundation um that came with it but i'm gonna check those out goodbye this is a little mini sample i think i'm gonna keep this still because it's good for people actually this is my color right now 117 yeah because my because my current foundation or not my current right now i'm a little bit tan so i can't use these ones but in my winter one this or my winter shade is this one right here so this one is y215 this is 117 or y225 so it's just like more of a fall shade i can use this right now i don't know why i didn't use it okay so uh, this one is an old primer probably pretty old so i should chuck this out i don't use it anyways um, this blotting paper, let's keep that. Okay, 
Oh look, there's another one. There's two foundation stuff from <laughs> Everyday Minerals. So that's getting out. Professional. This is a mini size. I don't know if this is good right now or it's like separating. If it's separating, I'm not using it. I don't ever actually use this. Okay, I'll keep this because this could be used. I'll keep this. All right, so I know what I'm checking out. Ugh. Actually, a few years ago, I used to use this. This is a concealing pencil um, from Hard Candy, and it's actually quite good. I don't know why I didn't continue to use it, but I quite liked it. It's just good for like pimples. If you have like a giant pimple, and you need to draw over it, and like you don't want your concealer to move, um, your foundation stuff, you can just draw on top of it, and it actually worked really nicely, but it is really old, so I'm gonna chuck it. All right, so I'm gonna keep this one too. This is the yellow corrector concealer. And then, because the reason why I bought this one right here is to replace this old one. I don't know why I didn't check it out, but this one's my old favorite. It is a old Maybelline concealer stick in a yellow color. Um, it's supposed to correct dark circles because I have the craziest dark circles. So this is going goodbye. It was good memories. Honestly, I really love that. And this one right here, I tried it out. This is from Revlon. This is the number two i don't know what concealer this is but it is not good i don't know why i kept it i should have just chucked it out and it's old and this one i'm going to check out too this is the sonia kashik uh concealer palette in light um it's meh it's not that good i got it because someone recommended it but it wasn't that good next one is highlighting drawer and i'm going to take out these ones because i know i'm going to keep these this one's super old this is from elf this is a powder I used to love all the time. It's called Luminescence or something. Yeah, Luminescence. And it was a good, nice highlighting palette powder, but it is super old and has a lot of bacteria in it. So I'm going to check it out. I don't know why this is still in the drawer. This one right here is from Body Shop and it's really old. I think I kept it just because I paid good money for it. But this is going in the bin. Okay, this is What's Up. I know I have some friends who really like What's Up but i don't i don't know why i just think it's disgusting and it like makes my foundation look ugly so i don't like it so sunbeam i don't really like it's because it doesn't match my skin color and it's a little bit too bronzy for me so i don't use it it is really old i can see it clumping okay so this highlighter right here i got a long time ago and when i was like a student and i was like poor and i don't know why i bought it but i rarely use it it's like a purple lavender pinky frosty highlighter and i it's so hard to use this but it's super sparkly so i don't really use it but i love the packaging and i love like the color so i just i'm gonna keep it and i'm gonna keep this too so i have one two three four five highlighters now lovely so i'm gonna take a break right here i will be back um so i'm back i ate dinner and now i'm gonna resume doing this and i took off my contacts and my lashes because i was getting uncomfortable so let's move on next drawer is bronzers and contour stuff and this drawer honestly isn't much because there's like one two three four five six six contour stuff in here and all of them are still good mine is this one um uh, this color wheel is really old so i'm gonna check this out this is from nyc this is the color wheel mosaic face powder in all over bronze glow i'm gonna just take all of them out right now so for my lip products i do have three mini drawers of these um so on the bottom third are my lipsticks and then the next one is lip tints and like um, liquid lipsticks and stuff like that and then on the top is lip liners and lip glosses let's organize the lip glosses first so honestly um i throw random stuff in here so it might not be super super organized this guy right here is a keeper honestly i love this but i haven't figured out like how to wear this like without it being super how you know like creepy and stuff like that because it is like kind of very bronzy and purpley at the same time so it's hard to pull off but i kind of want to use this in an eye look actually okay i'm keeping this what am i throwing out this one right here is so old i think it is probably separated right now isn't it actually no it's still good but it's really old way too old it's from lancome it was the color fever gloss gloss in delirium super old the packaging feels kind of funny too 
keeping this keep this contouring lip gloss i don't know if i still that one's kind of sticky i don't know if i should keep that one it's still good but all these lip liners are still okay this is still good this i don't really use my friend got it for me it's the tint pack to like stain your lips don't really use that um i believe this one is not good anymore this is supposed to be a lip balm with SPF in it, but it is really old. I think I should check this out. I don't even use it. And this one right here is my old favorite. Like when I was into ghetto makeup, like Japanese ghetto makeup, I used to wear this all the time. This is the Mailish in what color? Mailish Gloss in 5. And I used to wear this all the time. It made your lips look super glossy and like doll like. The thing is, it's so super old. And like you can see in the bottle, it's separated and disgusting. So let's get rid of that. I think everything else should be okay. This roll-on lip thing is old. I don't even use that. There's a lot. I think this is still good. I haven't really, I don't think I've used this. I don't think so. So let's put these back in here. So the next category is the lip tints plus liquid lipsticks. And I think I put some other stuff in here too, just because. I think it's time for me to get rid of these because this one, these two right here, are so old. Do I have another one? Yes, I do have all of them right here. I think I'm going to get rid of them, minus this one, because I think this is a little bit newer. This is a really dark, a cherry one, but these two right here are disgusting and really old. I have used them and beat them to death, um, but I don't think it's really healthy and sanitary for me to use them anymore. But these were my favorite they've been repackaged replaced now from the face shop but when i used to work there i just used these ones religiously um and i have an unopened what's this one again this is the tony molly lip tint delight in number two um and then i think i can get rid of this this one is old too and i don't wear it it's dried out and so this is again i have a lot of face shop stuff because i used to work there this is like a lip cream or finger gloss in orange 201 um, I'm keeping these. This one isn't really a, like, what's it called again? Oh my god, I'm, like, forgetting what the names of these are. It's not liquid lipstick, but it's, like, a lip cream, a butter gloss. I should keep that in the other drawer. Yeah, I should keep this in the other drawer. But it's a thicker, it's not, like, a gloss gloss. It's more, like, of actually pigmented lip gloss. So I like to keep this one. This one is, um, toasted marshmallow, and it smells amazing. I love this. Um... This one my sister gave. This is like some random like Chinese um, makeup product, but it's still cute and it has color that I like. These are all the liquid lipsticks. I think I should keep this one because I like this one a lot. This one's a sample red one, which is really nice. Bite gloss, which I only use if um I have like a cold sore or something. So this is like my cold sore lip gloss, but I do clean it. This one is super old. I think it's time to get rid of you super super old and then this is too good this is so good this is the lip liner just right here okay and then that should be it these color pop liquid lipsticks honestly like the only one i kind of use is this red one and it's really good um this pink one is like a little bit too pink for me i don't really wear often and then this one is really really light nude so it's good for like if you go out to like the club or something and you want to look like dead all right so the last drawer is lipsticks and i've had these lipsticks for a while i know which ones i'm gonna get rid of because these ones right here even though i love them they are really really old so these are the revlon color bursts in what colors i have cherry tint which is my favorite then i have sugar frosting which has like an almost no color and I have Creamsicle, which I believe is a new one, so maybe I won't get rid of this one. When did I get this? Actually, no, it looks kind of disgusting now, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's like a nudie pink, nudie salmon-y, pinky color, and it has like barely any color. And this pink one, I rarely use. It's like too frosty, like this frosty pink. It's like kind of disgusting. It's like such like a early 2000s color. I didn't buy it in the early 2000s, but it is such an early 2000s color. And this was my favorite, but I mean... I've had this for a while and it's almost done, so it's time to check it out. It's kind of disgusting. This lipstick I'm getting rid of. I don't know why I bought it. I bought it when I was like 
a teenager again and um i wanted a lipstick from sephora and i was like i can't afford this stuff it's way too expensive but this stuff right here this is from cargo do you remember when cargo existed in sephora um but they had they were getting rid of all their cargo stuff and this was like a fiber five bucks ten bucks or something really cheap for a Sephora price at least and I got it but I never wore it like I think I wore it one time and I've just been keeping it so that's that's that my MAC lipsticks I'm gonna keep I like them and these Kate like um collection from Rimmel I love this one this was my favorite for a long time this was in number 11 this is the matte or no this is not the matte one is it I think this one's just a regular finish. It's super lovely. I love this one. I'm keeping this. These two, I believe, are the matte finishes. This is 101 and 109. Um, when I used to have a blog, I loved this color. Like, I had a lot of phases. You can see, like, different phases of my makeup. I used to take pictures of all these makeups I bought. And, like, I would post them up on my blog. And But I don't blog anymore. Uh... But yeah, this pink was nice, but I didn't wear as much as this 109 color. I don't know if I should keep them still. This is my maybe, maybe pile, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, it has good memories. I think I would like keeping stuff if it has like a good memory. I know I shouldn't, like, but I do. So this one right here, this is the first ever nude lipstick I bought. This was Nude Attitude from Revlon. And I got this from a suggestion from Style Susie, I believe, or something like that. No, she, hers was this suggestion, actually. I'll talk about that in a minute. But this is Revlon in 001. I think another YouTuber recommended this. This is seriously so drying and terrible. But back in, like, junior high and high school, like, everyone wore, like, deathly nude colors on their lips. And that was a trend. I'm not wearing that anymore. I don't particularly like very pale nudes. So I'm not gonna keep that this one i don't think i ever wore i'm gonna keep it though maybe i'll keep it to someone else this one right here is from Sarvaski. it's crystal indian pink this one i did not buy obviously because it's expensive um this one was my friend her mom didn't use it so she gave it to me um i honestly I'll give it to someone else because I don't wear this color. It's like a sparkly fuchsia pink and I don't like sparkly fuchsia pinks. So yeah. Um, this one right here, I actually will still wear. I like this one. I love this one. It is a bright orange. I love this one. I'm going to keep that. Honestly, Maybelline like lipsticks are pretty good. Oh, okay. These ones are lipsticks that like my mom gave and I don't even wear. Like it's such like a grandma color. Not saying like... If you wear like sparkly nudie browns it's a gram color it just reminds me of it i'm not gonna wear that i'll give it to someone else or something i'm not gonna throw it i don't think i ever touched it this one right here is the one that style sees you recommended a long time ago it's in 700 new delight um it's a moisture renewal moisture renew lipstick yeah um and i really like this and yeah it's from rimmel again because like you it's a uk brand so yeah I think I'm going to keep this still because it's a good nude color. It's not too different from my natural lip color, actually. This one my friend gave me. This is the Urban Decay Venom Lipstick. Yeah, so I like it. I rarely wear it, though, because I'm not really... I can't pull off, like, dark purples or, like, a bright purple lipstick, I mean. As for the makeup and stuff right here, I've already gone through them. I'm keeping all those foundations and primers and stuff like that. I've stored up there. I grab those most often, so I'm leaving them up there. And then that's what I have so far. That's disposing. Okay. So in here are my palettes. So um, I've had a lot of these makeup palettes for a long time and I don't want to throw them out. I know I have to throw some of them out at least. Um, or at least have to check what I even have because I don't even know what I have. So this is my bronzing kit or contouring kit, which I love. I still use a lot. This is what I got recently. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, enough drama about that. As Because I was in Vegas and I saw Morphe, so I grabbed this as well. So I got these two there. Um, 
and this is the which palette is this i don't even know what the name of this one is this is the 35p this is my lip palette which i'm still keeping all right so here comes the part where i'm like i have to decide if i want to keep some of these or not this is my makeup revolution which i'm keeping i don't know if i'm gonna even get rid of anything this is the other makeup revolution palette which i love this is the dupe kind of for the modern renaissance palette so like this one right here oh my god i'm terrible i'm trying to do this with one hand right now so this one right here this one is that the uh, makeup revolution one this is the modern renaissance so similar kind of color scheme and palette <gasps> what did i do here i like nicked it oh my gosh and then this is the subculture palette which everyone hates or loves um i'm okay i'm indifferent with it i think the some of the colors in here are really good but then i don't use half the colors but i'm still gonna keep it obviously because i pay good money for that <laughs> and then in here these two palettes i love this is the itchy house play color eyes in juice bar and this is again cherry blossom i believe yeah so and then this i'm keeping this is just smells so lovely that's why i keep it but it has like a really pretty green dark green color i don't normally wear like dark green but it's a really nice color and the blush in here is nice as well it just smells like eggnog and i love eggnog um this one right here is a mac magnetic palette um and i spent a lot of time putting this together so i don't think i'm gonna throw this away yet but it has like three mac shadows this lovely eyeshadow that i kept oh this one is from where is it from i think it's from lancome but it's a really pretty shadow i don't know why i haven't checked it out i just can't let go of it and these and all these bright colorful ones are from a like very cheap like made in china like palette that's just like super colorful so i just grabbed the colors i liked this blush is from face shop this is eyeshadow from face shop i love the shadow i don't know see i never bring this palette out so i rarely use it but now that i'm kind of like looking at it i'm like i should use this more all right we're getting to these eyeshadow mini eyeshadow palettes and stuff like if it's back here i probably don't use it <laughs> i haven't touched it in a while so you see right here this is a I have two naked palettes or at least you think i do um so this is the real naked palette as you can see um i've you love this palette i used it lots still love it and i think they're discontinuing the naked palette now because no one really buys it anymore um but this is actually a fake naked palette my sister got it for me um but i i've used it before as you can see um i don't particularly like it or anything and I, or I don't really hate it either, just haven't used it because I have a billion palettes. And this is also a fake palette as well. Like, you know, you can find so many knockoff eyeshadow palettes on eBay and stuff like that. But anyways, um, enough with that. This one is, <laughs> um, I can't even open this. Oh my God. Ah. This one right here, um, it's not that pigmented, so I haven't used it. I might get rid of it. I might get rid of these two because... I honestly don't use them. Might give it away. I'm just gonna put this in a giveaway pile or something. Um, I don't want to give like these away to like people like that I'm not close with because I don't know. It's eyeshadow and like yes, I've used it a couple times, but I don't know if like I don't want people to get an infection or something. So we'll see. These ones right here I have used, but I don't reach for it as much. So it's this one and I have another one I believe. Two Wet n Wild ones. These are good palettes. I want to keep them because they honestly have good eyeshadows in them. I just don't reach for them. This one I might get rid of. Oh my god, my hand's getting tired. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to get rid of. Like, there's this mini palette I just keep. Because, like, sometimes I do go traveling and I like to keep, like, a mini palette in here. And this palette, I bought it. I don't like it. Um, I've only used a couple colors in here. It's not that pigmented. It's not that great. I don't know why I kept it. I'll just give it to someone else. I don't know what to do with this palette because like I don't have many blue eyeshadows, but I don't really reach for it. I think it's because I don't, I'm not playing playful with colors. So I'll keep it, but I have to try to use it. Like I can't just keep stuff and not use it. This obviously I'm keeping. I love this palette. This, 
naked two i'm kind of regretting i didn't get naked three instead but this one was gifted to me um so it was the first naked palette actually um hello <laughs> um but i do like these colors especially this matte black is really good so i like to keep that this tart tea tartlet teas palette my sister gave me it is great for travel i'll keep this as well i'm gonna get rid of this because this it's like from annabelle's like a canadian brand i believe and these shadows are shit <laughs> the only cool thing is that this um palette is magnetic so i might keep the palette but not the eyeshadows um this i love it's magical aurora eyes it has the most beautiful like shimmery like top coaty kind of colors i love it it has pink green and a, like a goldish color as a top coat it's really pretty and i really like this it's old but i don't care i'll get an eye infection for it i don't care <laughs> i think these i'm gonna get rid of because these ones are cream eyeshadows and I don't really use cream eyeshadows and especially in these colors i will not use them so i'm gonna get rid of these i'm, I'm gonna keep these because i actually use these two and i'll keep this one as well so i only was able to get rid of one two like these ones i guess for like giving away i'm not gonna even check them like the only thing i'm gonna check is like that those cream palettes over there anyway so i'm gonna reorganize that in a bit all right so here's this it's like terrible lighting right now so um this drawer is honestly a mess like it's a mess i have like random stuff everywhere papers this is honestly a mess drawer i don't know why i even bother so in here i do keep like little things to organize these are old i'm gonna get rid of this this is the fit me yeah from maybelline shine free foundation and i love this i used to use it like when i was working um in the beginning when i was working like um night shifts and stuff like that if i wanted to wear foundation um oh my god it's so hard to focus but this right here has like an inside like core for like moisture or is it oil control i can't remember um but i used to wear this all a lot but now it's old and disgusting so time to get rid of that this i'm gonna get rid of oh my god have has anyone ever like had mary Kay like come around and be like trying to sell you stuff but anyways this is like a was it luminous wear liquid foundation it's like a tinted moisturizer it's not that good and yeah not really my thing this right here i don't know if it's still good i bought this a while ago when i was in hong kong um this is the mineral cc cc bright up actually um i got this at sasa it's basically supposed to adjust your tone i have to double check if i want to keep that i don't know but this i'm gonna get rid of this is such an old bb cream so that's basically empty <laughs> um let's see i have a lot of random stuff in here okay so in back here i also keep like makeup brush holder and blah 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 and stuff like that so let me see what is back here even okay so this i used to keep my translucent powder in here and like i carry this with me so i can touch up i'm gonna probably like chuck this puff but i'll keep the actual like contents inside um obviously keeping all these powders okay let me see what i'm just gonna get rid of because i don't want to get <laughs> move everything <laughs> let me see this right here was my favorite powder for a while but i think it's done like let me see yeah it's kind of done but i don't know if i should get rid of it i guess i'll just put this on my top shelf or like put it out so i can finish using it but right now i don't think it's my color um right now my color is right here this is my current color. This is the 220 powder from Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me, I mean, um, matte and poreless. The color is similar-ish. Color similar-ish. This is actually slightly darker than my current one, actually. Huh, never mind. I don't know. I'll keep it for now. We'll see. I don't know. And this is my usual color, like my winter color if i'm not tan 120. this manfrotto tripod that right now is getting really heavy so i keep a lot of my like cushion puffs and stuff like that in here and this jade roller i don't know why i have gloves in here uh anyways this is hold my beauty blender when or my sponges whenever i go traveling this powder i'm keeping it's a really nice powder like i keep a lot of like translucent powders and stuff because like 
you never know when you need any type of translucent powder and uh, they're not that dirty and they're not like uh, touching all around they're usually like sifted or sifted like all of them they're pretty much sifted like powders i think i'm gonna get rid of this this is a color control cc cream this is from face shop a long time ago i honestly don't know why i kept it it's meh it's meh it's not that great powder right here from candy doll it's like a crystal oh my gosh focus it's like a crystal it's like a powder with a little bit of color and it's like sparkly actually it makes your skin look really nice but i just loved it for its packaging i think i'm gonna get rid of my cushions as well i don't even wear cushions that often anymore but um yeah april skin cushions really old i don't know why i kept them i think because it's convenient and i just used it for this puff to be honest so i'm gonna get rid of these i don't know i'm not an organizing queen i'll organize that later i just want to get rid of the stuff right now so thank you for decluttering with me today um you want to see the pile that we have of all the makeup that we got rid of is right here so it is quite a bit. I think I'm very happy. I got rid of a lot of stuff. I've been holding off from throwing it away in a while. I might clear up my skincare section in another video. I might. I don't know. I'm a hoarder when it comes to skincare too. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I will do like a close up or something. But this is a shit ton of makeup. Um, happy to get rid of them because honestly they just sit there and I don't give them any love. And they're expired or collecting bacteria and dust anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section down below and i'll just see you guys in my next video bye